Have you ever looked at your KFC and wondered, how is the KFC in Korea like? What do they have on the menu? I have. So I took a plane to Seoul, visited the nearest KFC and ordered everything on the menu. First up, we have some cheese balls. Super stretchy cheese, but the insides are thick with undercooked dough. Not a fan. 3 out of 10. And then I ordered some ice americano. Why am I ordering coffee at KFC? I don't know. Maybe it was the caffeine addiction. Actual dirt water. 0 out of 10. Moving on to the sides. We have an egg tart. Pretty decent crust and filling, but the bottom is soft and greasy. Could have been great. 5 out of 10. They also have a red bean donut steak. Simple and delicious. Nice crust, good bready interior with a sweet red bean paste. 8 out of 10. Their fries were nice. They were more like mini wedges with how potato-y they were. Nicely seasoned too. 8 out of 10. Next, a black label chicken tenders. I have no idea what the black label means and I don't want to guess. A little thick on the batter but still very decent. 7 out of 10. They also had chicken skin which, come on, it's KFC chicken skin. I can do this all day. 9 out of 10. Moving on to the burgers, we have a carbonara burger, a zinger filet with a fried egg and mushroom sauce, and the yolk runs. I love this. Any burger with a runny yolk is an instant plus 2 in my book. 9 out of 10. I also ordered a zinger burger with extra bacon and cheese. Interestingly, their zinger fillets are actually made out of breast meat, which, while I didn't mind it too much, it ain't no thigh meat. 8 out of 10. And then, the KFC triple down. Banger. Having the breast meat here really helps with the overall greasiness of a triple down. 10 out of 10. And finally, the KFC original recipe. This was really surprising because it had a different recipe from what I've tried at KFCs in other countries. I thought all original recipes were similar worldwide. On top of that, it was overcooked, bland and dry. 5 out of 10. The hot and crispy was a little better, still crispy and kinda juicy but again bland. This might just be my first time eating fast food where I think it needs more salt. There's a time to go easy on the salt. Fried chicken is not one of those times. The chicken they used seemed to be fresh and didn't have the ammonia scent but at the same time had no chicken sweetness to speak of. I'm kinda baffled that they're still in business when any one of the literally dozens of fried chicken joints down the street serve much better fried chicken. Where do you think has the best KFC in the world? 